I'm Anton van den Hengel. I run the Australian Centre for Visual Technologies. We are a 60-odd person research group in machine learning and computer vision at the University of Adelaide, largely focused at the moment on deep learning and its applications. The impact we're trying to achieve is to avoid the need for humans to do the ordinary and boring things in their lives and free them up to try and do the more interesting things. So we have a pedestrian detector which should help with driverless cars, stop people needing to drive and allow them to do more interesting things while they're travelling. But similarly, we're, we're working on medical devices which will allow people to make their own medical decisions and to, to be more informed about their own health care. It's, you know, it's a technology that has an incredible range of applications. I'm mostly interested at the moment in visual question answering, which is interesting because it's at the centre of these two bits of technology, both of which have been, had a well, where deep learning's had a big impact. So it's completely changed what we can do with images, but it's also changed the way that we can bring language in and to uh, enable us to find the relationship between these two. And together, we've made a big step toward, you know, using both of these data forms, we've made a big step towards what used to be thought of as real AI. GPUs help us in our work because they give us the cycles we need. We have really the breakthrough in computer vision over the last five years has been bringing together the data and the cycles required to do the learning. So the data has been around for a while but really this, the GPU technology coming in and allowing us the cycles required to be able to extract the value out of this data has been the, the big breakthrough and it's the reason that the, there's been such a shift in the performance of these methods over the past five years.